Hey Cancer, I hope you're doing well. Happy Solstice. I'm doing a reading on the occasion because there's so much energy in the air. The, there's like uh, Jupiter that just um, ingressed back into Aries yesterday. Um, it was at the zero point. So there's like lots of energy at the zero degrees of any sign, especially at the zero degrees point, right? Um, there's a solstice tonight, there's the new moon in two days at one degree of Capricorn. It's like so much newness. Um, I am sensing a huge shift. I'm sure lots and lots and lots, if not everybody's sensing it. So for me, it's like the beginning of 2003 is, is like now. So we're going to look at that energy because we're planting a seed for that occasion for the whole of next year. I hope you're on board with me. Um, Let's do this. So I'm going to start with one card out of a tarot deck that I've chosen specifically because on the minor arcanas, you have keywords and I like that. Okay, that's a big pile. I'm not going to take it. Let me just pull it out <laughs> and not wait for a pop out. Okay. Oh, the fool! No way! The fool for you! Talk about Jupiter being at the zero Aries point. That's the real... It's the beginning of the natural zodiac, so it's even more... You know, it's like double-double, right? It's saying it's not just a new any new start, it's the new start. Amazing. I made a new makeshift deck today. I'm using it for the first time. I can't wait to see what comes out for you. <laughs> That's four cards. I'm gonna put them back and they didn't turn. I'm gonna take a deep breath <laughs> and wait for one card to come out for you. I guess I'm excited because you, you got the full card. I mean, it's the zero, right? I mean, it couldn't have been, it's the best card you could have gotten, like literally, and the first card out. <laughs> it's incredible. Um, wow, okay, you get two cards, they turned, I will show you. You get Dove and you get Nerve. So Dove has obviously the connotation of um, peace. Um, it's also like finding the promised land, right? It's like after the uh, the huge flood, you know, um, the Dove came and brought the olive branch um, to show that land was wasn't far, what could be reached. Uh, and that the flood was receding. So symbolic, symbolically what this means is that you might have been like overwhelmed and submerged, uh, but I feel that things are gonna finally start coming down, falling into place. Um, the dove is like a little bird, you know? <laughs> So whatever you took care of that um, implied, you know, either peace, um, finding the promised land, or maybe you've been seeing birds outside, um, not just doves, but any bird could be really um, meaningful to you. It might have required, um, the situation I was describing about being overwhelmed might have required you to show a lot of nerve, right? Well, that also implies with the way I said it that, uh, first of all, whatever you undertook took a lot of nerve to even, you know, to venture into, for one. Uh, second of all, uh, it would have required nerves of steel to actually um, go through what you went through or are going through, but I feel that it's receding now, so you're gonna finally get a breather. Let's look into more tarot and develop this further. 
I also feel that um, it means that looking forward, you'll be able to have more calm, especially with the dove, right? Implying that it's peaceful, your, it'll, your nerves will be, you'll feel more calm. I would prefer pop outs for this one, for this out of this deck. So please be patient. <laughs> okay. These, that's quite a lot. I don't know. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna take them. It's a lot because <laughs> I don't want to keep shuffling and I don't want to pull. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the seventh card is the fool. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, let's see what is uh, the story here. The five of cups in reverse. The Queen of Swords in reverse. The Eight of Swords. The Ace of Coins. Justice in reverse. The Four of Wands in reverse. And the Fool. So the way I've placed the cards, I took the first four, so we end on the Ace of Pentacles, and then I took the four, the last three, and it ends on the Fool. So both sequences end on newness, because an Ace is new, it's a new start, uh, it's a new venture, it's new money. The Fool is, a, again, a new adventure. Um, I just heard uh, taking the road, like um, not necessarily going on a trip, but um, I'm not sure, maybe a new path? Taking a new direction, maybe. But look, let's look at uh, the energies that probably pertain to the nerve the nerves that you had to show prior or that you were that you're still required to have facing this situation lots of uh questioning going on for you a lot of the a lot of um a lot of dead ends i feel trying something or putting out something or proposing something um, and then hitting a kind of a wall each time uh, but never feeling discouraged simply like there's there's no way out there's there's either somebody bitter um, or I'm not sure what it is. There's a bit of disappointment as well. It's a mix of um, someone around you maybe. It's funny. It could be this dove. Um, I'm going to tell you that maybe the dove is on the Queen of Swords, meaning, obviously... <laughs> The Queen of, so of Swords is not necessarily the the most doving energy. <laughs> but what I mean by that is um, feminine energy. So uh, but she's in reverse here. So she's she's upset about something. She's um, she doesn't agree. Uh, she is not. 
she's not feeling peaceful at all. Um, she could be a nervous wreck, quote unquote. I don't feel it's you at all, uh, which is interesting. Uh, I wonder um, okay well this disappointment but there's also um, maybe some drinking involved but maybe maybe not maybe I'm not sure it's a possibility almost like to ease the nerves okay like trying to decompress because there's been a lot of tension. That's what I'm sensing. A lot of, um, also the dead end situation. It's like many trials that failed. So either it's with you, either it's someone around you that's going through this and you're sort of impacted somehow, or it's you within this situation uh, with this person. Almost like um, like both of you being trapped, maybe in some. Um, it's okay. What's really strange is that. How can I show you? This is the energies I've been describing, right? The Five of Cups and the... Then there's the Ace of Pentacles of Coins. So it's like all these trials and imagine going around in circles, trying to find like... You know what I'm seeing? I'm seeing like a, a, a circular room with many doors, trying many doors, but there's a brick wall behind the door. There's no real entrance or exit. But then this Ace of Pentacles is the one, the only exit out of this room. And you finally open that door that finally gets you out of that room. This is what this situation is. So I don't know if it's even possible that you know that or that you are somewhere where there's a circular room, but Either way, it, it's not just doors in one's mind here. This is almost physically uh, a place where you've tried many doors, many avenues, many trials, many... Okay, it might not really be physical, but at the same time, it's sort of physical, like it's almost real. And yet... Um, okay, let me explain what I mean by that. It's like you and this person in a situation really trying to solve something or uh, no matter what it was, right? It, it doesn't have to be a love relationship. It could be at work. It could be any situation where you've tried many, many, many things. But then at some point, the only exit or the only issue or the only solution is almost to walk out. And then that portion, that's physical, like it's you physically walking out of something, which is really strange. But I feel you're welcoming this because you have the fool twice and that door is really promising. There's something else that is really enticing that just the fact that you uh, get out of that circular energy that it was uh, almost like a round and round and round situation with no end. You're relieved, you're, it's a release, it's a liberation. <laughs> Look at this, he's got like, you know, a pep in the step, right? He's like super happy to walk out to, you know what it is also, like there was a lot of heaviness maybe, um, I don't know if it has to do with all the accumulated stress and feeling nervous or just having to always be like when you're like at a high 
like a high pitch, like a high tension of, okay, I'm always sustaining all of this, um, everything that was coming at me or whatever it is that you were trying to solve, all these doors that you tried, all these avenues, all these I don't know what they were like it's like you trying many ways to do things okay legally if this is legal um i think that something was tying you down or there was something about truth um a big piece about truth here. Whatever these doors were that had um, brick walls behind them, okay? There was either lies being told, but also the ideals that you had about truth being expressed or revealed or... Um, it didn't happen. It didn't happen the way you thought. It could have been also um, in terms of legality, right? Clauses or like trying to work something out that basically you're being uh, sort of curtailed or you know, oh, you have an idea, let's do this. Oh, no, but, you know, you, you're, we're binded by this and this and this. Oh, okay, no, okay, we can't do it like that. Okay, let's do that. Uh, no, okay, someone like... And it's maybe this Queen of Swords energy that is always like... I said bitter, but basically she's cutting out everything that sprouts. It's like, boom, you know, like always... No, we can't do that. Like always... Um, it's almost like always saying, no, it's the brick wall behind the door. Like there's no, there's no exit. There's no solution. There's no, the, it's not where to go. I mean, you can't go anywhere <laughs> with any of your ideas symbolically, right? Okay. You see, there was so much instability in this situation. It could be with a person. So, I mean, I'm thinking uh, two levels here. I'm thinking, of course, like, I guess in a work situation or... Yeah, I'm thinking of a work situation. But if this is in love, as I was first uh, implying, you know, this, this would be a divorce because it's the end of a marriage. It's the end of a relationship. It's breaking household you know, taking that door, physically walking out, literally, like, it could even be that the first four cards are on the job level, and then the last three are also in your relationship. So in both cases, the same kind of situation is happening in parallel. I'm sorry to say that, but it took all of your nerves to sustain this, to... I mean, I think I wasn't wrong when I said it was like the Ark of Noah situation where it was the Great Flood. You were probably in over your head, like totally submerged from both sides, right? Both professionally and in private, uh, in your private life. And I can't believe like the fact that you have this peace offering. So for one, it's like, a promise of something more positive. Um, I mean, it really, you might have, I'm telling you, the, the bird um, analogy or significator here is really important. Because I, I'm, I think you could, um, Apply it to like, if you, it doesn't matter which bird, you might have your own bird that brings you, you know, for one, it could be 
for some people it's a cardinal for some people it's a it's a raven for some people i don't know it's to see a small falcon or you know a little i don't know i know many words of different um birds of prey in french but i don't know the names in english so i don't i cannot tell you but many of those birds any of those you know could be uh, something special for you right and if if you're in different countries you could be seeing all kinds of birds that i don't even know the names to <laughs> But whatever that bird is for you, it's um, it'll deliver a message. It's for sure, for sure, telling you this is the moment. This is um, confirmation. However, you want to apply it. it, could even be a logo, could anything. But like to have the full twice, to have everything that I was describing astrologically happening, to have the Ace of Pentacles um, on the table for you here. You'll be starting something new, um, especially on the professional side. What's interesting is on the love side, it's you might be walking into just being alone for a while because uh, that's how the cards are falling here. But on the prof professional level, you're not just starting something new. You already have the idea for the new there's already something else that you're interested in. You know what to do next. That's what it is. It's very clear here. Okay, let's end on an angel number. Let's see what guidance they want to provide. I can't believe this. You get 11-11. <laughs> you know how I said you had no avenue in love? Because, well, not no avenue, but there was no card showing, let's say. Like, professionally, you already have the new idea. But this is the card for the love, right? This, this is probably a, a twin flame or soulmate, something coming. So I'll show you the text you can read, but I will read it out loud. You are on the right path. The angels protect and see you. You are close to an epiphany. What you are doing is meaningful. Your manifestations are about to come true. You are aligned. That's incredible. I'm putting it beside, um, I'm showing you now. On the love front, if this was like a separation or a divorce, you are starting a new life. <laughs> And you'll eventually walk into um, if you don't believe in twin flame, you could say soulmate, but for me, it's definitely walking in. I mean, the four of wands is the 11, 11 cards, right? So on the rider weight depiction, at least, you know, but so imagine this one is in reverse and then you have another one coming after the fool. So you see how you might have left a really meaningful relationship um, or in the midst of and you'll walk into another meaningful relationship so i mean it's kind of negative and yet it's like super positive this reading i hope you can sense that um i hope some something resonated especially the part where you're turning your gaze towards the future and that you know good things are coming both professionally and um, personally that is clear as day here okay so enjoy your holidays thank you so so much for being here happy solstice please like the video share subscribe i'll see you soon good night